My name is Jeremy Wagers, and I'm an instructor here at the National RV Training Academy. I actually teach solar and air conditioning, but today I want to talk to you about some of the solar side of things. I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to use the sun as part of your solar package? Well, guess what? I got the tool today. Let's dive right in, and I'm going to show you some different solar controllers to be able to take the sun power and convert it into energy for you. Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. All right, so we're gonna start over here with our first controller that we have. It's by a company called Victron Energy. Uh, Victron Energy, to my opinion, is probably one of the better ones on the market, if not the best on the market right now. So what this guy does for us is it's going to take sun power. Fingers crossed, hopefully we get sun every day. Some days are better than others. What it's going to do is going to take all of that power from the sun. We're going to convert it into DC volts. What it's going to do is we're going to get a lot of DC voltage, sometimes upwards of almost 100 volts coming off of our solar panels. What's this guy do is it's a magic, it's almost like a converter in our RV that we already have. What it's going to do is take that 100 volts and it's going to match whatever our battery voltage is. So let's say just for RV sake, around 12 volts. Now in the solar packages, we can get 24 volt systems and 48 volt system as well. This will do that as well. All we have to do is go into the settings and be able to turn that from 12, 24 or 48 volts DC. Now this one, like I told you, if we look right here and we zoom right in, you're gonna see where it says MPPT. That stands for maximum power point tracking. You got right next to it is we have a first number. We see 150. That's gonna stand for the maximum volts that this solar cooler can handle. Then we're gonna look next over here for the 70. That's gonna be the max amperage that this can take in and produce out of this controller right here. Now the cool thing is when you come to class, you're gonna learn all about these. You're gonna learn out of all the different math of it, how our solar panels that we have on the roof, take it and step it down into potential watts to be able to recharge our batteries. So this is one brand. I'm gonna show you another brand right now. Another pretty popular brand out on the market is by a company called Renogy. Renogy right here, now this is what they call, this is their Rover series. Their Rover series, uh, it doesn't really give us two numbers like the Victron one did. It only is going to show us what our amp rating is. So in this controller I have in my hand is rated for 40 amps. Now one thing when you read through their manual on there, you'll learn that this max input volts is only around 100 volts as well. Now it does the same thing over here as the Victron one did. It's going to take all that potential volts from our solar panels and step it down to whatever our battery voltage is. Now these two, the first ones I talked about, the Renogy and the Victron, these are ones I recommend when you're getting into off-grid heavy boondock. If you're enjoying what you're learning so far in this tech tip and you want to learn more, why don't you hop on over to the National RV Training Academy, contact your local student advisor where you can start a business, make money while traveling, and be able to help out your fellow campers. Visit nrvta.com. If you're like me, I'm originally from Ohio. I got to camp for, you know, like what, three months out of the year. The rest of the time my RV was in storage. So what I would need to do is I would have just a solar panel up on my roof and I would have one of these two type solar controllers. These are called PWMs. What it is is basically these are really good setups for when you're trying to just do like a trickle charger system. And what I mean by that is it's just hooked up to a lead acid battery and all it does is it just keeps that battery topped off, keeps everything inside of that battery moving. So these right here, these are more cost effective. You can pick one of these up off of Amazon or at your local, you know, camping world or something like that for, you know, 15, 20, upwards of 50 to hundred dollars. Now these two other solar controllers, these Victron and the Renogy series, depends on what size you get. You're going to spend anywhere from around a hundred up to four or $500. Now to me, my personal preference, like I said, these two outer ones, great for boondocking and for great for off-grid living. These two in the middle, these are more for your, like your trickle chargers. These also work really great on like a electric gate that's ran off of a battery power. What these controllers do is they keep the power and keep those batteries topped off. So for light loads, not consistent heavy draws. So now that I've went over this a Victron inverter, you might be asking, now does this replace the converter that's already in my RV? 
No, it does not replace it. But what it does though, it gives us another charging source. So while your converter is still going to do its job, it's going to get that power from either shore power or generator, whatever you're running. Now this is just another charging source to be able to help get our batteries charged up faster. That's what these controllers are doing. Or if your batteries are topped off, this label will be able to help supplement loads inside your RV as well. So if you're running that air conditioner and your batteries are topped off, this will be able to help provide power to be able to run that. Because the big thing is we always want to take, this is great for Sunstrike. About six hours a day on average in the U.S. is what you're really going to get to where these controllers become really beneficial. Hope you found what I've talked about today very interesting and very insightful. And there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. We're dancing, we're bombing, we're weaving. This is what happens when you have a sore neck. We turn like this, and like this, and like this. No yeah. more swishy swish? <laughs> What'd you talk about today? Swishy swish in my shirt. And there's your tech tip. <laughs> Learn that. On today's tech tip, we're gonna be talking about how to make your microphone not do the swishy swish. Well, if it has a magnet, use it. And there's your tech tip. Oh, yes! I see the light. Visit the NRVTA.com and get started today. So close. I just got the stutters today. It's Monday. Ugh.